Hello students, um, welcome to another um, MasterChef video. Um, today I am going to show you a very simple um, salad, um, tomato salad, um, in preparation for this week's task of seeds. Okay, so as you can see, um, these are all the ingredients I'm going to use for making my salad. Um, these tomatoes here have come from my garden, and um, this is from the farm garden. As you can see, I have a selection of tomatoes. Um, they're all different. Um, they're all different tomatoes. So it doesn't really matter what tomatoes you use here, um, but uh, preferably something a bit more fleshy. Um, it'd be great for the salad. Um, I've got some shallots. Um, red onion's fine. Um, I have some anchovies because I really like anchovies. I have a cucumber, um, parsley from the garden, some black olives, um, four bean mix, tuna slices, some shaved vinegar, but you can use um, any uh, vinegar that you have on hand. Um, some capers again, these capers are from my garden and you'll see a video regarding those and um, some good olive oil as well. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start chopping up our vegetables. So, uh, following on uh, for last week, uh, where we started on with knife skills, we're going to continue on with this, um, this salad here is also one that's going to test your ability and your knife skills. So we're going to start off, um, and we're not going to use the same ones, but we're going to use slightly different. So we're going to use um, a... Um, a brimizing the first things we're going to do. But to do that, with a tomato, it's important we're going to do a few things first. So, I'm just going to quarter our tomatoes and we're just going to take out the core at the top, the green bit. Okay. Then, what we're going to do is with a little paring knife, I'm going to put down, cut there. Flatten it out and then take out that middle. And I'm gonna, so I'm taking out all the seeds and just that little um, inner pith, I guess you'd say, from from the tomato. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that. So we're going to keep all our trim from our tomatoes because we're going to use that um, for a another video, which we're going to show you about seeds later on. So. I'm just going to trim all these. Put. So once I've trimmed all those, I'm then going to julienne all the tomatoes. And I'm always going to cut the fleshy side first. Now the reason you cut the fleshy side first is because it's a lot easier for your knife to go through than if you go on the skin. You find the skin's quite tough and that you'll be a lot harder and your knife will struggle a lot more than it will if you go flesh side first. Okay, so technically there's julienne. Now what we're going to do is we're going to brim one. So we're going to make it into little fine dice. Now the reason we do this for this salad is because we it's not necessary so that we need the extra juice from the center of the tomatoes. We want the flavor but without the extra moisture. So I'm just going to brim wire those. Now I am going to come back, uh, I'm going to finish off cutting the tomatoes and we'll come back and join me for the rest. Alright, so I'm just going to cut up my cucumber and I'm going to do, again, very simple, I'm just going to dice that as well. So I am just going to cut it into strips like so. And I'm just going to dice that. Okay. going to add it to the salad. So I'm going to continue to do that and then you'll join me back at the next step.
Okay, so I've added my cucumber now. It's all finely diced, um, as you can see. And then I've got my next set of ingredients here on the bench. So I've just some julienne, some parsley, um, and I've some diced up some onion, very fine. Um, to, to do your julienne and your parsley, it's very simple. Um, just like the julienne I showed you the other day, except that with parsley being a leaf, you are going to stack it on top of each other. If it comes off my fingers. In um, as neat pile as you can. And as it's in that neat pile, we then go nice, straight, even cuts. And your julienne, your parsley. Okay, so that's my julienne parsley there. Now, what I'm going to do here is I've got a, a few capers and um, some anchovies. Now, I really like anchovies and I really like capers. These are obviously optional, um, but I'm lucky enough that we grow and cure our own capers. Um, and I really like anchovies, so I add anchovies to pretty much everything that I cook. Because um, I believe the salt within the, the anchovies is a lot nicer than adding salt, so it means I can get away with adding a little bit less salt to my food, but have that nice flavor within it. So, we're gonna quickly mince this up. So to start, I'm just going to give it a rough chop. Okay. And then, with the back of my knife, I am going to, we call mincing it. So I'm gonna squish and drag so as I squish and drag, I'm using the tip of the blade here to scrape it down on the thing, scrape it down on the chopping board, which will allow me to get a nice fine paste, okay? There you go. Okay, so as you can see, um, I've got all my stuff in there now and I've added in um, my just some chopped black olives as well to add on to it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add in our four bean mix. A little bit of salt. Black pepper. Some olive oil. And I'm going to add in a little bit of sherry vinegar. Um, so I said earlier, look, any vinegar you have at home, sort of distilled vinegar, um, is fine. Um, white wine, red wine, sherry, cider, whatever you have on hand. So we're just going to give this a mix. I've obviously just washed my hands. Pans are clean. I prefer to use hands than spoons. So. As you can see, I've now added all my ingredients in here. Uh, I've given a really good mix around. The reason why you're probably asking why everything was cut so small is um, because um, I believe that when we are eating um, something like this, you really wanna have, every time you take a mouthful to feel all the ingredients in your mouth at once. So that's why everything was cut so small, so that the beans are the largest ingredient there. Everything else, when you take one big spoon, you're gonna get the whole salad flavoring in your mouth at the same time. Um, and that's, that's why it's cut that size. You don't have to, but I feel like for me, that's the most important thing. Now, I haven't added tuna, but this is something that I grew up on um, as a child, so I've left it out, but what I will do is I'll add tuna um, to this salad tomorrow. So I'll have this with my dinner tonight, and then tomorrow the leftovers I'll add with the can of tuna, um, and it makes a really great lunch, um, healthy lunch to have as well. So, recipe is um, attached to the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you for the next time when we are looking at seeds.